Hey, what is going on guys and welcome back to another video. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best XP farm and fish farm for Minecraft Bedrock Edition in August of 2022. This is pretty insane and pretty cool, so get ready. So guys, if you do enjoy this video and it does help you guys out, please consider smashing that like button and hitting that red subscribe button. It's completely free and it's easy and it only takes two seconds and you guys can always unsubscribe anytime and I would really appreciate it. But that being said guys, let's get straight into this video on the best XP and fish farm for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Make sure you go to minecraftmod.com, linked in the description to get a full tutorial and see other cool things like shaders packs for Minecraft Bedrock Edition, Pixelmon, mods, realms, everything like that. It's absolutely free. Let's get straight into the video. Okay guys, we're about three seconds into the video. Okay, these are the materials you need. You need three trap doors, four signs, one minecart hopper, one hopper, one lava bucket, one rail, one water, and three chests. Okay, that is a pretty cheap and simple minecart farm to go ahead and do. Okay, wow, okay. You gotta place the chest down. That's the very first step. Placing the chest down is the first step. Okay, this ship needs to get out of her way. Place signs on these locations of the chest. Where? So you wanna place the sign on the front, okay? on the right side from the front, and then on the left side from the front. Okay, so you wanna leave the back of the chest very open, no signs on the back of the chest. Get yourself trap doors and go to the back of the chest. Okay, so in the back of the chest, you wanna place the trap doors up to where it kind of makes a block. Okay, so you wanna outline a block with trap doors and open them, so when they open, they kind of like make a block with the chest and the signs, okay. Get yourself a water bucket and water lock these chests. So you, what do you want to do? You want to put the water bucket on the chest? Okay, so you kind of glitched it. You put the water in the chest, so then it's kind of leaking through and the trappers are stopping it. We now need to get a cod or salmon in here. So then, that's a pretty simple farm. So now you got to go catch a cod or a salmon with a bucket. Empty bucket, just catch one of them. Just, you know, right click on them. Come on, you can do it, bro. Right click on him. Right click on him. You can do it. There you go. You caught the cod. He's not going to die or anything. He's in the bucket. Then you want to place him in the trap doors now. So once you do place him in the trap doors, go ahead and do that. He's stuck there because a trap door is blocking, but the chest is a source block. You don't have to get, you don't have to use a name tag since we got it from a used bucket. That's pretty cool. Since you got it from a bucket, you don't have to name tag the fish. Stand in front of these chests and mine down by four blocks on these positions. So right in front of the chest, you're going to want to mine four blocks down. Okay. Okay. Then you're going to want to mine four blocks to the left of that, then to the up of that. So you kind of want to form an L shape around the chest, okay? Then you want to jump in. So form an L shape, four down next to the chest. Mine two by two hole right here, okay? So where is he gonna mine the two by two hole? You want to mine a two by two hole from under the chest and under the water, but leave the blocks above it. Place a double chest here. So I'm guessing he's gonna use the hoppers above it with the rails and minecart. That's what I'm guessing. So connect a hopper to the chest like this. So he's gonna to want to put the hopper there in the block and then make sure it's connected properly. So we do see it's connected. He threw an item in and it got connected. Okay, now place it on a rail. Now place it real on top of the hopper. Okay, there you go. And he's gonna place the minecart with hopper on top of there so it can pick it up through a block. Okay, I guessed it right. Okay, now remove the rail. Okay, so it can fall right away. So you have to break the rail. You gotta, yeah, he has to get the pixel of it. So now the minecart with the hopper is just standing on the hopper. Okay, now place the sign behind the minecart. Behind the minecart, okay. So right there, okay, he has to hit the very corner of the block to get it. Now that that sign there, what's that gonna do? I actually don't know what that would do. Okay, now go up to the next minecart. Okay, you wanna go up to the next minecart. Place a lava bucket one block above the minecart. Oh, that's what the sign is for, to stop the lava. This lava bucket will prevent your rod from taking any durability. Oh, I thought it would stop. I thought the sign would stop the lava. Okay, mine yourself an easy way to the chest. You just made a staircase, and I'm assuming that they're gonna reproduce and then go in the lava, cook, and then fall in the hopper and go in the chest. Okay. Now the reason that the lava isn't flowing any further is because, okay, so I was right, because of the sign. Okay, now what's he gonna do? Come on. To use this farm, get yourself a rod and aim at the sign. Okay, oh, so he's gonna keep on, okay, I see what he's doing. He's using the, because that's the water source block. Right click once and wait, and it will automatically catch fish for you. And now you'll see your XP will go up. So this is also an XP farm and a food farm. Okay, you can use like an auto clicker and use a enchanted a fishing rod. I recommend using this rod with these enchantments. Yeah, you wanna use Luck of the Sea 3 and Lure 3 to get the best items. And you can also get more items than just fish, like books, of enchantments, and stuff like that. This one can easily get you to the level 30 pretty fast. Wow, you can get cool treasures like mending books. That is pretty cool. Wow, you can actually get mending books and stuff like that. Wow, <clears throat> that's actually very nice and neat. That is actually really helpful. Well guys, that's gonna wrap it up for today's video on the best XP and fish farm for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. I hope you guys did enjoy this video and it did help you guys out. If it did, please consider smashing that like button and hitting that red subscribe button. Also, let me know in the comments down below if you guys need any help with this. Also, my Discord will be in the description so I can help you guys out. But with that being said, I'll catch you guys in another video. Peace out.